Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am at Shirley's Bay. It's windy, it's overcast, and there's hardly anybody here, which is a good thing because usually this place is so crowded. So uh, the clouds look pretty cool tonight, like ominous if you want to call it that. But um, I did uh, some long exposures. I was at the other end over there and I did a long exposure and then right after I did the long exposure I took another shot at uh, 1 30th of a second with the uh, Sigma lens and then I came down here to where the rocks are and uh, I did another one long exposure and then right after I took the 10 stop filter off and put the uh, and, and then took a shot at 1 30th of a second and the reason I want to do that is because I want to photo blend them because with the long exposure, the water looks really cool, but uh, the clouds look okay in the long exposure, but I prefer to have the clouds the way they naturally look because when you do the photo blend, it makes for a really cool image. And I try to do a handheld panorama. I'm not sure if that's gonna turn out. Um, too windy to fly the drone, and I didn't do a time lapse. But uh, yeah, and I left the house with like an hour left before sunset which is apparently going to be in three minutes <laughs> oh well yeah this is going to be a short video i hope you like the pictures uh hit the thumbs up like and subscribe and i'll we'll see you on the next video talk to you later bye Hey guys, a little bit of a continuation from last night. Um, I'm in my house now. Uh, so I went out again tonight um, and uh, there was about uh, an hour and a half before sunset and I was gonna go to the forest uh, to see if I could find some mushrooms and do uh, some macro photography. <laughs> Funny thing is, as soon as I got out of the car and I went into the forest, it was like <laughs> pitch black, it's like, no good so I had a backup plan and uh, that kind of backfired on me but I still ended up getting some photographs uh, I went to that this spot about uh, a year ago and when I got there the mosquitoes were brutal they were just like eating me alive and I think this time when I went it's still a different time of year but I don't know what it is with that area I got out of the car and uh, the mosquitoes came around. They weren't as bad, but then when I got set up on the railroad tracks, they were getting worse and worse. But I did manage to get my shots and I'll post those now. Um, but the thing is, uh, you gotta plan where you're gonna go. You gotta make, you can't, like I'm always doing it spur of the moment and I really shouldn't do that. But if you plan it, and you have a backup plan, it should work out. This was spur of the moment. I knew where I was going and I did have a backup plan, but it was still spur of the moment. And uh, if I had planned properly, the sunset tonight was amazing. I flew the drone, I'll show the footage now. And uh, you'll see here in the drone footage, the sunset and the sky was just amazing. The clouds, uh, so I did a, I did a wide angle shot with the drone and uh, I did a panorama with the drone, but it's over my neighborhood. It's so dark down below though that you can't really see, but the sky and the sunset and the clouds just looked amazing. 
anyways i'll post those photographs and the video the photos that i took uh in carp of the railroad tracks uh, i'll never go there again even though uh the photo that i took uh, i might have been a little bit early for sunset but i might be able to fix it in post-production and make the glow on the railroad tracks really stand out so anyways like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video talk to you later bye